workers rush to fill an order for emergency food at this warehouse in Uganda. Just a few years ago, all this food would have come by ship, taking months to reach Africa from ports in mostly Western countries. With food prices skyrocketing, provisions are now being grown right next door. This will not only help countries in need, but help intra-African trade. On average, over the past decade, about 10 to 12 percent of African trade took place among other African nations. Policies and infrastructure have held Africa back from increasing this number. But with countries gaining in political and economic stability, as well as the investment of aid organizations in sourcing local resources, economic growth and trade could be on the uptick. An initiative called P4P, or Purchase for Progress, has seen the World Food Programme purchase nearly a billion US dollars of food from African farmers to support its aid programs. And governments, like that in Uganda, as well as other aid agencies, have come on board as partners to help change the way food aid is provided in Africa. What we're trying to do, particularly with P4P, is take advantage of the fact that uh, we have still significant humanitarian needs in neighboring countries, uh, which provide an opportunity for Ugandan farmers to develop the agriculture sector here and supply those markets. I would much rather be supplying uh, our countries in DRC or our operations in Somalia from Uganda, then we have to import as WP, we import from South Africa or India or Brazil. So it's a real opportunity, but in order for Ugandan farmers to seize that opportunity, uh, there needs to be greater investment um, in the uh, basic agricultural infrastructure here. We need to help link farmers to markets, and that's really what P4P is all about. Under the initiative, small farmers are engaged to provide surplus maize to WFP and WFP in turn provides a ready market by working with local government and other agencies to ensure supply chains and payments. Before, I, we were just cultivating only one acre, two, three, because we were, we are get, we were getting no profits. But now, if, even even if even if these fertilizers, the seeds are expensive, but we manage because we we have, we we make some profit. Last month, an index of 55 food commodities tracked by the Food and Agricultural Organization climbed to 214.7 points. That's above the previous all-time high of 213.5 points, hitting June 2008, where food shortages caused riots in countries like Egypt. The cultivation and supply of local produce could help prevent such a situation from recurring, and the WFP could be part of that process. The organization is set to double its purchases from Ugandan farmers to 100 million US dollars by the end of this year, and so lessen the need for imported foodstuffs. While the world may be set to face increases in food prices, it looks like with a little bit of help, African countries may be turning to their neighbors for solutions.